There's a card that was released less than a month ago that's selling for over $700 ungraded. And at a PSA 10, over $1,500. This card is easily the most sought after and expensive pull of 2023. And I spent over $500 on several brand new boxes to try to pull it today. And here they are, the Scarlet and Violet brand new EX, well, Violet EX boxes in Japanese. And there's a reason why these are the Japanese versions and why they go for so much money, which I'll explain in the video. Let's start though. Oh God. I can't wait to open up this premium trainer box. This has some really sick stuff inside of it, some exclusive things inside here. We're gonna open that one up second. I wanna start by going in on this box right here. This set is gonna be so fun to open when it comes to English, but the Japanese version is always a fun time to open if you could get the box. Open. Oh, there's a new thing. Look, there's a new, like, there's, it's a new tear mechanism. Okay, I can do this. This was made for children. I'm not a child. We got this. Yeah, baby. And then, oh. These, look. Oh God, they're everywhere. Beautiful. And then with these boxes, you go like this, and then you go like this. Okay, let's begin with these brand new Japanese Violet EX packs. So obviously this will be a part of a set that's coming out actually at the end of this month for Pokemon. It, what is happening right now? I don't know if there's a pack trick. Let's just flip this and open it. All right, Growlithe, Shuppet, anything in pack one? Nothing. I do also want to give a massive thank you to the shop Knickknack for Nerds who helped hook up these exclusive Japanese packs and boxes, including that EX Premium box, which we're going to open here at the end. Hoop! Not the pack number two. If you want to find yourself some cards, both modern and Japanese and English, and maybe a little bit of vintage and some older stuff. Ooh, okay, this is like our first like hit, hit. That's pretty art. I'll leave the link down in the description below, and I'm pretty sure I've got a discount code as well on screen right now, so you can get yourself a nice little cheeky discount. Big thank you to Nick Knack for Nerds. Nick Knacks for Nerds. Oh, there's a hollow. Nice. Okay, so it's looking like the pack trick is like one pack, one card to the front. Let's see, one to the front. All right, where's our first hit in this set? Not yet. Also, as you can see, there's only four cards per pack right now. That's just because of the nature of this Japanese set. Oh, first hit. What? What is that? Oh, that's a new Pokemon. I, I don't. I honestly don't even know what Pokemon that is. I have no clue. Let me know in the comments. That's fun. But with only four packs, four cards per pack, definitely an easy set to rip through. And we got our first EX, which is a really, really cool look into the brand new set that's coming out again, Scarlet and Violet, near the end of this month, which is bringing back for the first time in years, 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 EX cards to Pokemon, which you could see right here with this beautiful, uh, this new Pokemon EX. Very nice, and the texturing's sick. Very cool, but it's not the secret rare, and in these sets, specifically the Japanese sets, when it comes to these boxes, there's typically one secret rare per box, which is why the trainer card that we're looking for today is so insanely expensive. It's because it's ridiculously hard to pull. There's a lot of secret rares in these Japanese sets, and at only one secret rare per box, the likelihood- Oh, Pachirisu! Nice! The likelihood of pulling the secret rare you're looking for is super low. In Pokemon Go, this Pokemon only spawns in Alaska, and I'm gonna go catch it in like a month in Alaska. I can't wait. So to find the card we're looking for today, oh, which by the way, is the Miriam card. We're looking for Miriam. Miriam is the massive hit worth over $1,000, $1,500 at a PSA 10, or again, like $800 ungraded, which is ridiculous. An absolute ridiculous amount of money for an ungraded card to go for. Man, there's vintage cards that go for less, bro. You know? So that, if we could find that today, that is gonna be incredible. But either way, super cool to look through this new set, see some of the, oh my God, another EX card. See some of the new designs for the cards we're gonna be having uh, in the next Pokemon TCG set, like this guy. Look at the sparkles on that, very cool. And again, at one secret rare per box, we should see something very cool out of these two boxes, three boxes today. And we still don't have the secret rare quite yet, oh gosh. Come on. Now, big question. Why does this card go for so much money? Well, if you're new to the Japanese cards, wait. Wait, it's another EX. Look at this bad boy. Very cool. Is that Mega Bayonet or is that just regular Bayonet? Either way, that is amazing. The EX cards look so good in this set, bro. With that like kind of sparkly vibe to it. Very nice. Well, if you're new to the Japanese sets in the, well, here, let me explain it this way. The most expensive card when it comes to the modern sets, nice, we've got this Pokemon, I don't know what this is. He's cute though. The most expensive English Pokemon cards in the modern sets are usually the alternate arts. Dragonite, Rayquaza, the Moonbreon. Those alternate art Vs and Vmaxes are the ones that fetch the big bucks out of these guys. But when it comes to the Japanese sets, historically, it's actually the trainer cards that end up being the most valuable, most sought after, 
and most expensive, like in this set, in this beautiful set. And usually it is the female trainer cards that end up going for so much more. But especially at a PSA 10, any trainer card out of the Japanese sets are gonna fetch you a pretty penny. So typically whenever these new sets come out, I do try to do a video opening up. Oh my God, there's a big fuller EX. That's amazing. Oh, this is so cool. And this should be our secret rare pull. Yes, it is a secret rare. You can see the SR down at the bottom right there. That is a secret rare. That is a beautiful pull and a really, really cool brand new EX card. Japanese EX card. That is gorgeous. Here's another look close up on the camera. Beautiful, bro. W, big pull. Absolutely gonna be sleeving this up. Oh, sleeving this up. Nice. Okay, so now pretty much the rest of these boxes or the rest of this box is just gonna have like normal cards or non-hits. So let me speed through this. Okay, cool. Well, there's another EX hit. At least we still got EXs left. Very pretty. Okay, and there's box number one. Some really, really cool cards, a lot of brand new EXs and an amazing secret rare Arcanine. So nice. Now let's bust into this premium trainer box, which I'm not mistaken, it might be a Japanese Pokemon Center exclusive box. And if it's not, it's definitely hard to get here in America. Again, massive shout out to Nick Knack for Nerds for sending this over and hooking this up. Massive. Now I'm gonna try to get this open. Nice. Okay, I'm so curious. What's inside here? All right. Ooh, it opens like this. Fun. And then it's got this cool kind of like magnet opening. Oh, fire. Okay, let's turn it down like this and pull things out kind of one by one. So we've got the box with nothing in it. Okay. We've got another divider. We have these. Oh, this game is fun. This, this, these are these are cool. We've got, what is this? Is this a tin? Cool, it's like an empty EX tin to like put your marbles in. There's the deck with all of the random cards. Another deck here as well. Just a stack of cards. Oh, wow. And then here we have it, a ton of the packs for both the Pokemon Scarlet, which is these packs, and Violet, which is these ones here. And remember, Miriam, the most expensive card of 2023, is in these blue Violet packs. But there's still some amazing cards and some expensive cards to pull in this one as well. So let's close up this box and let's rip these packs. And the thing that I'm honestly most curious about here out of this premium trainer box is... Does the limit exist on the maximum amount of secret rares that you could pull from a box inside that box? Because obviously inside of a Japanese booster box, you only get one secret rare per box max. You could get two, sometimes a glitch. But I wonder inside these boxes, premium trainer boxes, if the same rules apply. Well, we're gonna have to open up and find out. Nice, well this is fun with this big old whale. I remember seeing this Pokemon in the game. I will say I've not opened up really either the Japanese Scarlet or Violet set at all. So I don't exactly know what can be pulled inside these. I just know that Miriam <laughs> is in the Violet set and that's what everyone's hunting for. But if we could pack just one secret rare out of this Violet. Oh, oh nice, dude, this thing looks insane. We've got the Gyarados, is this like a crystal Gyarados? We've got the Gyarados EX. Dude, the texture on this card is actually beautiful. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks so good. It's like dusted in like the glitter, man. This is beautiful. Wow, really fun Gyarados card coming out of, oh, this is Scarlet. Okay, cool, good to know that Violet doesn't have the only hits. Well, speaking of hits, let's see if we get more. Riolu, bang. That was the cutest Riolu card I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's get another one, or not. All right, last pack of Pokemon Scarlet right here, and then we go back on the Miriam Hunt. Nothing in. Okay, let's knock out these Violet Packs that came out of the Premium Trainer Box. I don't think that was technically, I don't think the Gyarados was a secret rare. So maybe if there is a secret rare, it's hiding inside the Violet Packs, which is exactly what we'd want today. This is huge if we can get it. Come on, baby. Any trainer card will be a massive pull. And also too, don't forget, we still have that box over there, another sealed violet box that we can open up and try to get that Miriam card out of. Hunt isn't over, baby. Oh, is it? I think this is Miriam right here. This is the non full art version of Miriam. Also, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually two Miriam cards in these sets. I don't know if one is in Scarlet and one is in Violet, but I know that one Miriam is going for like three or $400 ungraded and the other is going for like $700. So definitely, I mean, if you get a Miriam either set. Oh, cool. This is, wait, this is Tentacruel, but why does it look different? I don't know, man, that's sick. Is that a shiny? I don't know. Very cool. That's the best part about Japanese. Any hit is typically a big hit. Again, mainly because there's only 30 packs per box. There's only a handful of cards per pack and there's only one secret rare in a box. And speaking of, this is the last pack from the premium trainer box. Will we pull something Big from this, we got a hollow and that's it. Definitely some cool cards we got from the box, including again, this Gyarados EX is just incredible. Colors are fantastic, art is amazing. Really, really cool card. Great pull, but we're not done because now we've got this, the last Violet EX box of the day. Our last shot at the $1,500 Miriam. Ah, ah, ah. Boom, opened it. Okay, we're gonna place a box on top of that box and let's begin. Absolutely fingers crossed because my gosh, oh nice. 
a Pachirisu to start. That's a good. That's a good freaking sign. This is probably the last bit of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that I'm going to be open up, opening up before the big set releases. Let's go. We got the Gyarados. We get the Arcanine version. A lot of Arcanine in these sets, eh? Beautiful. Now it has it on RR here at the bottom. I don't know if that means regular rare. I don't think this is a secret rare. I still think we have a big hit coming for us in this box. But this. This is a beautiful card. Oh, so good. But yes, this is most likely the last time I'm going to open up Scarlet and Violet until the English Scarlet and Violet set comes out, which I can't wait for because I will hopefully be getting somewhere around 1,000 packs. 1,000. Ooh, another EX that I'm going to open up here on this channel. And the fun part is I'm going to take all the hits from those one. Wait, there's something here. Okay, there's not something here. It's fine. I'm going to take all the hits from those 1,000 packs, including all of the secret rares, all of the alternate arts, all of the hopefully Miriam. And we're going to turn those into like probably like over a hundred hits only let's go another ex beautiful hits only packs basically what that is it's like a mystery pack that has again hits only from the scarlet and violet set then we're gonna go to whatnot and auction those bad boys off which i can't wait for speaking of whatnot we've been doing myself and my brother jake have been doing a lot of very very consistent auctions and breaks over on whatnot so if you want to find yourself a legit place to come buy some packs and maybe win some cool prizes because we've got some sick stuff or come by and get some mystery packs for scarlet and violet when it eventually comes out out because again, dude, we'll have like a hundred of hits only mystery packs. Oh, sick! Speaking of trainer cards, we got a trainer. I don't know this dude's name, but this is definitely the secret rare of the box, and it is a trainer. So although it's not Miriam, it's not the fifteen hundred dollar card. It's definitely still a really, really cool one and something that is for sure still worth something. Because again, this is Japanese, baby, and these trainer cards go for a pretty penny. That is a cool card. And speaking of whatnot, we'll absolutely be seeing this card on whatnot. So maybe you could get this link in the description for whatnot. Wow, but that is very cool. We'll take that. So now theoretically, the rest of this box is just gonna kind of be throwaways. So well, there definitely still could be one more secret rare. Let me look. Ooh, okay, we got a full art. Nice, oh, this card is so sick. What Pokemon is this, bro? That's so fun. Oh, nice, we got another EX hit. Beautiful. And the last card of the box. We will get from it, nada, little hair across. And here they are, the two major secret rare hits from the Scarlet and Violet EX series boxes. Really cool pulls, not the Miriam. But when this set comes out in English, we'll definitely pull it with a thousand freaking packs. So if you're excited for that, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out the links in the description, including Nick Knack for Nerds, who sent the product in for today. Really appreciate that. And for whatnot, where you can get yourself some packs, some cards, some fun vibes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.